8.30 in the morning time on this. Yeah. Friday morning, April 11, 2014 on a Friday morning. Time now for the Water Magician PJ Williams, the morning report. Friday morning, April 11, 2014. <laughs> a good morning on this lovely Friday morning. Going in editions at 8.30 a.m. in Norton, Massachusetts, got a temperature of 53 degrees with a few clouds. Humidity of 66 percent. Wind speed west about 12 gusts and 18 miles per barometer. 30 inches even. 2.42 degrees visibility. 10 miles and a wind chill about 49 degrees. Alrighty, let us take a look at our radar scope and it shows a line of rain shots from off the western coast of Prince Edward on a line of rain shots in the eastern portion of Quebec. Line of rain shots in the eastern portions of New Brunswick, down the coastal bay, down for Southern New Hampshire, down for Central Massachusetts, down for Connecticut, and down for 72 New York, North New Jersey, and search it down for Pennsylvania and a lot of deluge away from Ohio and off of Northwest Virginia. A lot of rain shots off the Carolina coastline here. Rain shots in the Northern Iowa, down for eastern Minnesota, down for western Wisconsin, and sleet in the northwest of Wisconsin, down for northeastern portions of Minnesota here. Rain shots in the northwestern portions of Minnesota, down for the northeastern portions of North Dakota, down for seven portions of Manitoba. South of Winnipeg, and some stored sleet shots in the central of Manitoba, near the Winnipeg, and southwestern portions of Ontario, and stretch it out for west Western portions of Manitoba here. In global effect, the rain sleeted snow shots of the western portions of Montana stretch it up into the Alberta, eastern portions of British Columbia, and that for western portions of Saskatchewan. Take Seattle. Good morning. It's 34 degrees with close guys. And we got Texas Dam, New Mexico. Good morning. 46 degrees with close guys here. All right. Let us take a look at. And some. Patches of rain showers around West Palm Beach, Point St. Lucie, Palm Bay, and coastal Florida here. Also, as you know, next week marks one year since the Boston Marathon. Let's take a look at our map situation here. Satellite loop here. Uh, Atlanta class for Guizia, stretch out for the birds. Testing, taking out for Eastern Great Lakes, and that's best way to stretch out for the much New England, stretch out for Quebec and Atlanta, Canada, stretch for Quebec, now for Nova Ontario. Batch of class for Eastern Minnesota, Nova Dakota, hold down for Western Portion of Wisconsin. Couple of batch of class for Western Illinois, now for Missouri, now for Eastern Portions of Kansas. Couple of batch of class for Western Texas, and Nova Mexico, stretch out for Greater Southwest. Another batch of class for Wyoming, now for Montana, now for Nova Idaho, stretch out for British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba. I don't feel some portion of to go to here. All right, let's take a look at our map situation here. <laughs> We do Cold front from Albert, Eastern Alberta down for Saskatchewan, Southern Manitoba down for Western Ontario. Cold stationary front from Upper the Northern Quebec. Stationary front from Wyoming down for Cold front from Colorado, stretch out of New Mexico, stretch out of Nova Texas, and stationary front from Oklahoma, stretch out of down to Missouri, Southern Illinois, Indiana, down for Ohio, and Cold front from Pennsylvania, New York, up to New Hampshire, stretch out of the Eastern Quebec, and Pink front of the Eastern Quebec. Part of mine from the Dakotas down for Nebraska, part of mine from Southeast and Eastern Alberta down for Southwest and Saskatchewan, Montana. Part of mine from Southern Nevada and Eastern California down for Western portions of Mexico. Part of mine from down to the California coastline here. And part of mine from Eastern Pennsylvania down for Maryland and Virginia. Okay, we got high pressure in Eastern Missouri, Western Colorado, Southern Idaho, and low pressure in Northern California coastline, Southeastern California coastline, Eastern South Dakota. Go to Northern Texas and Kentucky here and Central Ontario. We got a 53 degree temperature reading for Boston, it's 61 for Washington, 50 for Atlanta, 70 for Miami, 66 for Brazzaville, 62 in Dallas, Texas, 41 in Kansas City, 43 in Chicago, 44 in Minneapolis, 41 in Great Falls, 47 in Seattle, 53 out in San Francisco, 57 in Los Angeles, 50 in Salt Lake and Albuquerque, and 47 in Denver. Alrighty, let us take a look. Good conditions around the region we have. 54 degrees at temperature now. Boston is better. It's got 54, 55 in Beverly, 52 in Gloucester, 53 in Fitchburg, 51 in Gloucester, 52 in Surbridge, 49 in Webster, 52 in Milford, 54 in Norwood, 53 in Taunton, 53 in New Bedford, 52 in Falmouth, 49 out in... Now begins a new adventure for the 65... Shannon, 48 in Parmesan, 51 in Marsville, 49 for Nantucket, 49 in... Why do a show in Vegas? Kick off a 48 out in... A fun place to be and it's the place everyone wants to be. Block on, 50 in Wesley, 52 for... Yeah. Her show is titled Smithfield. 
53, Fitchberg, 46, and Carter, 44, and Greenfield, 41, and Everest, 51, and Springfield, 32, and Pittsfield, 54, and Albany, New York, North Adams, Massachusetts, and 54, and Millington, Vermont, 45, and Keene, New Hampshire, 48, and Jeffrey, 51, and Nashville, Manchester, New Hampshire, 50, and Concord, New Hampshire, 53, and Pussman, New Hampshire, 51, and New Hampshire Bay, 52, out in Windsor Locks, 51, and Northfield, 58, and Waterbury, 53, and, and Danbury, 50, out in Meriden, it is 48, and New Haven, 50, and Bridgeport, 50, and New York City, 49, out in, it's 11, 52, and Monta. Alright, let's take a look at our fourth public discussion in Federal Country Shots from the Valley in the Northeast on Friday. Warm weather can do is these to the Rockies that subsets and develops over the Southern Plains this weekend. Our weekend in front, but three draped across the Yar Valley and into the Northeast U.S. has provided just enough force enough of a narrow band of shots on Friday. With perhaps a few weapons of under possible west of the Appalachian Mountains that most of the activity should move off to the coast of the time for the weekend as high pressure begins back, back in the region. The warm and present spring light temperatures are forecasting to be the weekend for much of the central and eastern part of the United States, but the jet stream remains storm trap. Remaining in the north near the Canadian border, the other has in the 70s and 80s will be covered in the place east of the Rockies, along with a sunny in the park of the across the northern trend of the country, a cold front trap in the southward out of Canada will bring a fresh surge of colder weather from the northern Rockies in the upper Midwest, western from the front is like to fall to the form of snow from the higher elevations of the Rockies and rain from the valleys. By Saturday evening, the surface lowest forecast to develop in the lee of the Rockies next to the Texas panel that uh, is expected to become the next big warmer maker by the end of the weekend across the central United States. Forecast discussion here in New England here. A weak cold front will move across New England today and install along the south coast of that. A wave of low pressure will move along the front and pass south. A New England bringing a chance of shots and that grand progress and battle conditions are expected over a weekend and Monday. A slow movement front will be a so great sometime Tuesday and Wednesday. Seventy up update forecast ten remain on track for this morning. The cold front is straight just over the region and will slowly pass five area. A few scattered shots may develop more along the front, but the rest should be fairly dry. Today, red area sprinkles like rain in central west New York, but the shots movement expect occasional sprinkles for the morning. In midday, the cold front will move comes more aligned. With the upper flow tip day and slows as they move over to our area as cross sections show a deep of activity called the moisture and power valleys around the ditch. This suggests that enough moisture for showers. A good 850 millibar converges to a 50 millibar, diverges a couple of moments across late in the name, which would be all uh, so many showers. We will be increasing pop stress in the latter part of the afternoon. Temperatures at 850 millibars will be 4 6 Celsius with full mix at 850 millibars. Temperatures will reach the mid upper 60s and class should be thick enough to hold back with full mix, and so we will forecast low to the mid 60s. When more sun Try to deep uh, mix it. Somebody may be possible, but there's a lower probability. And let's take a look at our graphic here. A slow moving cold front sweeping across seven wing on Friday this afternoon. There's a weak cold front hangs up across seven wing. There's a few shots possible along the front Friday of weak wave of low pressure along the front Friday that will make a narrow bend to stay rate. The front pushes off shows every morning. High pressure builds the front west. The shower's head. And from the discoveries that our new A quarter half an inch rain from no, it's from Connecticut up and over to Southwood Island up to Southeastern Massachusetts, Metro West and up in Cape the Islands there. And 0.1 to a quarter inch rain from Western uh, Coastal Connecticut and Western Connecticut up in 72 New York down to Eastern Hampshire County down to Western County and the Mass Pike and included Boston and up in the North Shore and less than a tenth of an inch rain from Central New York down to Western Berkshire's Central Berkshire's and Northern Western County down to Southeastern New Hampshire here. And funny times, we see there's 70 degrees by down to New York and Hartford. Almost this part will see 70 degrees here. And the latest on severe trouble stop at it's now category four cyclone with severe trouble cyclone at it's a category four it's crossing and get close to Cape flooded with very destructive winds to 230 kilometers per hour during the course of the gales extending to 185 kilometers from the center. The cyclone expected to continue to move south southwest overnight and gradually weaken. Destructive winds with good wind gusts excess of 125 kilometers per hour expected to develop elsewhere between Cape Belleville and Cooktown tonight. Extends after Cape Tribulation overnight and possibly to Port Douglas during Saturday morning as gales occur between Cape 
Melville and Cookdown and should extend stuff to Cape Tulation and Lawn Two. Lawn Palmerville overnight as Gilbert extends stuff to Cairns and Innisfail and an inland is chill voice third Saturday if that possible. To God well later the DVD the overbades that a small possibility that it could track close to the close to that down the stuff and maintaining the intensity capable of doing to check with up to 150 kilometers per hour Cairns third Saturday. Close the between Cape Potty and Cape Tulation should have cooked a cook tire, especially water after the dangerous stump tide overnight and on a high tide Saturday morning. That's say it's light for the rise steadily up to a lower level, which will be significantly above the normal tide with temperature waves, strong currents, and flooded up low liner is extended some way inland. People living in areas are the likely affected by this. Flooding should take measures to protect the area. Property as much as possible and prepare to follow the structure required to evacuate out of the area and advise to do so by the authorities. Very heavy rain, which will lead to flash flooding that's available over parts of the peninsula and over tropical coast and tablelands district, should gradually contract stuff for its witty system over the wing and people in Bath that a very dangerous cycle between Cape Melville and Cook should say common. Remain in secure shelter above the expected water level, which is a very distracting winds develop over that. Do not venture outside and find yourself in the eye. The cycle of very destructive winds are from a different direction to resume any time. Follow the activation of advice of police, amateur run. service personnel, and local authorities' directions. There, people elsewhere between Cohen and Innisfail are in Jason Hill areas, including Law, Kalinga, Palmerville, Mariba, and Chilgate. Should how far everybody's come just in the last couple of preparations quickly to be per the shelter and safe place. Ports that outside property should be secured use available daylight hours. For Zach Law Preparation and Safety Vice, visit Queensland Disaster Management Service website at www.disaster.kld.gov.au. For emergency assistance, call the Queensland State Emergency Service SES on 1325 for assistance with storm damage, rise of flood water, fall trees, and buildings and roof damage. For the application of directions of police and emergency service personnel and local authorities, people between it is failed, Conwell, and adjacent it is Air should be. Consider what act today will need to take into the cyclone threat increases. Information available from your local government for cyclone preparedness and safety advice. Visit Queensland Disaster Management Service website at www.disaster.qld.gov.au. For emergency assistance, call the Queensland State Emergency Service SES at 1325 for assistance with storm damage, rise of flood water, small trees, and fill in the roof damage here. Okay, let us take a look at our 7 day forecast goes like this today. Chance of showers. Class guys, high near 66 degrees. West wind about 8 to 10 miles by chance of precipitation. 30 percent New precipitation amounts less than 10 minutes possible. Tonight, showers are likely main before 11 p.m. Pest of after 2 a.m. on board. Most class guys, low in 41 degrees. Flat and variable wind. Chance of precipitation 6 percent New precipitation amounts between the 10 recorded and 8 possible. Saturday, most class guys, high near 61 degrees. North wind about 5 miles per hour. Pick up a cup of the border. Saturday night, most class guys, low in 42 degrees. South wind about 7 miles per hour. Sunday, most class guys, high near 65 degrees. South wind about 9 to 17 miles per hour. Saturday night, Part two five after midnight. Otherwise, most guys can load 50 degrees. But they must have been doing things she's never done before. Part of the stands can't near 70 degrees. But they got the after 2 a.m. Otherwise, most guys can load 52 degrees. Tuesday, shots are likely patchy valve before 7 a.m. Otherwise, most guys can't near 61 degrees. Shots are pissed by 6%. Tuesday night, shots are lower 3 degrees. Shots are pissed by 8%. Wednesday, shots are likely patchy stands can't near 49 degrees. Shots are pissed by 8 70 percent Wednesday night, podcast can load 32 degrees. But Friday, for Thursday, both sides got under 51 degrees. Peters with a phase of the day. A showery and a cloudy day on town. This is PG, which will be a good day with a good positive attitude here. And then just going crazy.